हेलो वेलकम टू प्रफुल गोरखर एजुकेशनल चैनल टॉपिक फॉर टुडे इज ग्राम स्पेलिंग प्रैक्टिकल आई हैव कंसीडर दिस पॉइंट्स फॉर दिस वेरी इंपॉर्टेंट ऑनलाइन प्रैक्टिकल इंट्रोडक्शन क्लिनिकल सिग्निफिकेंस प्रिंसिपल रिक्वायरमेंट्स स्टैंडर्ड ऑपरेशन प्रोसीजर माइक्रोस्कोपिक ऑब्जर्वेशन एंड एम सी क्यूज विथ आंसर्स सिंस माइक्रोबियल साइटोप्लाजम इज यूजली ट्रांसपेरेंट इट इज नेसेसरी टू स्टेन माइक्रो ऑर्गेनिजम्स बिफोर दे कैन बी व्यू विद द लाइट माइक्रोस्कोप इन स्टेनिंग प्रोसीजर a small sample of microorganism is placed on a slide and permitted to air dry the smear is heat fixed by quickly passing it over the flame heat fixing kills the organisms making them adhere to the slide and permits them to accept the stain stains impart color to particular ions in the bacteria the various advantages of microscopic examination of bacterial stain preparations are one these give idea of the morphology of bacteria whether these are cocci bacilli spadilla etc two this help to determine the staining affinity of bacteria whether these are gram positive gram negative acid fast etc Three, these demonstrate the purity of the culture. Four, these demonstrate the bacteria present in the sample material, which will be later on used for culture preparation. And five, these help to diagnose microorganisms such as Gonococci, Acidophagus bacilli, etc., by direct microscopic examination. Gram staining technique helps to determine gross morphology of the bacteria and differentiation of bacteria into two groups gram positive and gram negative and clinical significance is from the differentiation of bacteria into gram positive and gram negative groups it is easy to decide on bacterial biochemical tests performed to identify specific bacteria and also it becomes easy to decide on selection of culture media and bacterial culture is very important not only in confirmation and identity of bacteria but also for deciding specific treatment by anti microbial drug selection principle of gram staining method is as shown on the left hand side gram negative bacteria have a thin peptidoglycan layer very close to cytoplasmic membrane and due to this thin layer of peptidoglycan when crystal violet stain is used bacterial cell first becomes violet but when ethanol is used the cell wall cannot retain violet color however as shown on the left hand side cell wall of gram positive bacteria contain large amount of peptidoglycan and tetraic acid which retain crystal violet stain after ethanol treatment and look violet as shown on the left hand side in staining procedure lastly when saccharin counter stain is used it stains gram negative bacteria red as shown on the left hand side and role of iodine solution in gram staining is like a mordant to increase intensity of staining reaction between the dye and cellular contents for gram staining method the requirements are one bacterial culture which contains gram negative and gram positive bacteria two glass slides and sedum oil three nichrome look and bunsen burner and four microscope and the reagents are one crystal violet stain two 
Grimes iodine solution 3 decolorizer. It contains 95% alcohol and acetone in equal proportion and 4 saccharin solution. Procedure and first smear preparation. Standard operation procedure for smear preparation is like this. One, take a grease-free dry slide and make an oval-shaped mark at the center by using a glass marker. Two, sterilize the inoculating nichrome loop on the flame of a Bunsen burner. Three, transfer a loop full of culture by the sterile nichrome loop and make a smear in the pre mark area on the slide and smear should not be very thin as well as very thin. 4. Allow the smear to dry in the air and 5. Fix the dry smear very carefully by passing the slide 3 to 4 times through the flame quickly with the smear side facing up. Grand Staining Standard Operation Procedure SOP is like this. First, place the slide on the staining glass rods. Next, cover the smear with crystal violet stain and leave for one minute. Next, wash carefully under running tap water. Flood the smear with Grimes iron solution and wait for one minute and then drain off the iodine reagent. Next, decolorize the smear with alcohol acetone for 20 to 30 seconds and continue till purple stain just stops coming on the slide. Next, gently wash the slide under running tap water and drain completely. Next, counter stain the smear with saturnin for 10 seconds. And next, drain the staining solution and allow the stain smear to dry in air as shown on the left hand side. And next, first observe the uniform stain area under low power of the objective, then under high power objective. And finally, by using one drop of immersion oil under oil immersion objective of a microscope. Well, under oil immersion lens of a microscope, image A indicates gram negative bacteria and image B indicates gram positive bacteria. Now refer to left hand side and then you will realize how bacteria were stained. In the case of gram positive bacteria, once stained by crystal violet and iodine treatment, the violet color assumed by this bacteria did not change during decolorization also. While in the case of gram negative bacteria, when stained by crystal violet and iodine treatment, in decolorization process, violet color was not retained by this bacteria and saccharin stain imparted them red color. This is a list of gram-positive bacteria. And this list is of gram-negative bacteria. Well, today we considered 
all these points for this online practical and now just see how well you can attend following MCQs. Well, kindly refer to chapter 27 of our MNT book or chapter 3 of our medical microbiology book for more information on staining techniques. And kindly subscribe and share our YouTube videos on Prakul Gorkar educational channel 
with all your friends and contacts next time i will conduct one more online practical on a new topic till then take care stay safe and remain in positive frame of mind and i wish you all the best